same place where we finished last vlog. We're still alive. Yes. Um, so the plan for today slightly changed because the weather might be awful. I think there is a storm coming. So we need to adjust our plans because the trip was supposed to be making sense. Now it won't make any sense. No. Uh, and it's going to be quite chaotic what we're going to do, but it's the only way to do. Because the only place we have booked for today is the Eden Project, where I don't really want to go, but my mom wants to go. Uh, and we have ticket booked and they cost a fortune. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to go there. Uh, so we'll be going to probably a few, few points which none is on the way to the Eden uh, but the one thing that we were supposed to do this morning we'll do tomorrow when the weather is supposed to be nicer yeah I mean when it, everything's weather dependent yeah basically the whole help, yeah but. but we need to go anyway because uh, we want to see all the places in Cornwall this little mm, yeah. So yeah, so the plan for now is we'll be going to the Lands End and then we'll see how much time we have left if we can go to any other places on our way to the Eden project. And from Eden we'll probably get back down south. <laughs> like uh somewhere like St. Michael's Mount or somewhere like that. Like yeah. that. And then in the evening to New Quake where we have our Airbnb booked. So that's pretty much the plan for today. It's going to be chaotic, it's going to be loads of miles driving again. Uh, it's going to be tiring again. I was shattered last night. Yes. But hopefully today we'll manage to get to our accommodation earlier than 11pm. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> like if 8pm would be reasonable. It was get here, um, get, get, get things from the car, get wet. Yes, also it was like raining when we get here but and you know. then it was half a shower shower and bed, bed. I, I just I was still quite awake and Barney was already asleep and I was like okay I guess it's time to sleep <laughs> so yeah that's the plan for today so we will see you when we get to the our first uh, place for today I'll never tell never tell just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad Gone away a month or more Every show I go before I need to hear that voice Cause right now I feel like it's been too long I could never let, let you go Go on thinking Secrets you're keeping These promises strong as a spell I'll never tell You're keeping these promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Morning. 
morning so it's the next day so we'll catch you up with what we've been doing so far me so, sleeping so yesterday um, we didn't go on a boat like we told you I think uh, we'll be doing that today but then we went to the land's end which was kind of disappointing wasn't it Mm, it kind of says on the tin, really, Land's End. It's Villa Land and water. Yeah, it's just the thing that's like, there's so many like tourist attractions that are mm. not relatable to the place at all, like King's Arthur, Maze Quest, whatever. Yeah, there's a, quite a few things just for kids. Yeah, it's just to rip people off their money, basically. But the Basically. biggest, is like first of all, the car park was seven pounds, and it doesn't matter if you stay there for an hour or all day. We were there for probably like half an hour, forty-five minutes, yeah. and we had to still pay seven pounds. Second thing, it's this uh, place, sh this this spot. Uh, you have a picture here, yeah, uh, where you have the signpost that says like London, New York, and Lands End, and to take for or buy this signpost. It costs you like 10 or 15 pounds because there's a photographer taking the photo. Yeah, which kind of puts the point out of going there to take your own photo. Yeah. If you want to, you, you just can't. I really wanted to have my photo taken there, but I was like, I don't want it on the paper. I wanted to Barney to take a photo. So, and also there was a queue and... <laughs> the queue... I just don't understand why... It's 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 a scam, really. It is. So the whole place seems like a big scam. Yeah. And there's loads of people there as well. I thought it's going to be like a just place with no one there, but actually, it's not like that. No. So yeah, we would like to because the views are great. Oh, can't doubt um, can't say no to the views. Yes, but on the other hand, I felt like. I had pretty much the same view in Abba when you walk up the Constitution Hill. <laughs> so it's a, it's a southern view. Yeah, but so we would like to come back there, and we're going to be cheeky and come back there before opening, so we can take a photo by the signpost. Hopefully, it's going to work out one day when we come back here. Hopefully, it will work. Yeah, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Then, after this place, we went to the mm. Eden project, uh, which I thought generally is going to be bigger, but actually there are just two biomes and that's it. Yes, and then, there, then a revelation happened with this one. We bought a houseplant. I'll show you. And one more for outside. Just to say. So... Here is banana, banana, banana. a banana tree, I guess, and this is supposed to give edible fruits. Supposed to. And it is supposed to grow up to. Oh look, there is a smaller one as well. <laughs> Focus. So we, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to become a plant lady. You will see about that. And the other one is actually already huge. Uh, so yeah, we are traveling with awkward things this yes. time. Uh, so we got two house plants. Like this one is, I think, going to stay indoors. If you have banana trees, please give us all your recommendation how to not kill it. Uh, we have one house plant and we didn't kill it yet. No. Mm. Surprisingly. So, yeah. So we do, we'll be doing a good research on. We how, need to. How not to kill the plants. We, we need to because the other ones are outside and yeah. I'm going to dig through my lawn. Yes. Uh, so we got those and yeah so I thought Eden Project will be bigger and I, um, I did as well. And oh my mum also thought that but then so it's smaller than you think that's first thing. Second thing is that um, there are not many options what to eat. You have those burritos or rice boxes, yeah. like chicken or jackfruit. It's either chicken, rice, burrito or pizzas. All pizzas, basically. So not that big choice. But the rice box burrito was good. We it enjoyed was. that. Yes. Um, so then you can obviously get some plants there. 
I thought it would be hotter in there. It wasn't. There was only one spot when it was actually like, quite hot and so it wasn't the worst. I thought it would be sweating our asses off there, but we didn't. And luckily. After the Eden project we went back we went to St. Ives. Yeah, sent then to St. Ives. Uh... Which is nice town, kinda reminds me of uh, Aberystwyth in Wales and St. Andrews in Scotland. It's giving me similar vibes. It's just like a nice seaside town. Damn. It was crowded. Uh, but it was Friday evening when we were there, basically. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the last place when we went yesterday. And also, when you go to Cornwall, prepare to... Prepare to queue a lot. Yes, because the the roads are so busy. Like yesterday, we were on A34 times. <laughs> yeah, four times. At least, going there and back, there and back. Uh, so yeah, so that's the first thing that you need to remember. We had no idea about it at all that the roads will be that busy. Um, so yeah, so, so from Sunday we went to New Quay where we're staying, or already stayed, stayed because we're going yeah, to leave now. And New Quay is just another very busy seaside town. With yeah, and it's a lot with younger people, I think. Yeah, it just a very sort of popular tourist destination, sort of, because it's quite a big town, yeah. with loads of places to stay, but also very expensive. Yes. Uh, but this apartment we have, it's quite nice. I mean, it's very nice when you first walk in, then I had a closer look on stuff, and it's not so great anymore, at least for me. <laughs> um, Just windows need to, to be cleaned, I think. And shower yes, works Shower better. needs to be better. At least I could stick my head under it. Yeah, because in the hotel you couldn't. No. So it's our last day in Cornwall, basically. Yeah. Uh, so we'll show you that also later. Uh, should we show the apartment now? Mm, we can do. Yeah, so we'll show you the apartment now and the view because it's a gorgeous view. Yeah. So I, we'll wish, I wish the bed was a bit bigger. Yes, if you told this big is this bed is not big enough. No, it's like it's good if you're five foot mm. and a bit, but if you're six foot two. No. Okay, so we're going to show you the apartment now. So that's the hallway when you walk in. So here is the kitchen. So as you can see, I have the fridge, dishwasher, washing machine. There is microwave, basically. Everything you may need for a longer stay, so that's a good thing. Uh, then there is first bathroom. And that's the other house that we bought. So there is the shower. And um, the bathtub. So, yeah. And then there is this gorgeous living room. With a big, big table. We have with a big big table. There is some seating area. And gorgeous view. But as you can see the windows are a little bit dirty. So from there we go here. And there is the bedroom, and there is bar anything leftover pizza. So there is the toilet, then like the end suite with a shower. And here we have the most gorgeous view. So as you can see, there's a balcony. There's the second bedroom with two single beds. So that's it. That's the whole that's the whole place. So would you recommend the place to stay? Mm. 
I mean, it is quite expensive, but then when you think about it, how many people can stay here? Yeah. It's like four people staying here, so then it's not I mean, so expensive. I mean, if it had a revamp. Yeah, it needs a little revamp for it need, sure. It needs a bit, of, a, bit of, a bit of love, I think. Yeah, if I have a good revamp, I'd stay again. Mm, especially bathrooms. Mm, yeah, and the bed. And bigger bed, yeah. <laughs> we'll need to write that in the review that the bed is not great for tall people. Because as you can see, there's the end of the bed already. So, for Barney, it's not so good. No. Okay, so we're going to finish packing our suitcases and we'll go. See ya.